You can export all of the records out of your Salesforce instance via the data export link inside of Setup. Now in this free developer account, Salesforce only provides a monthly export option. In enterprise level orgs, you can do this weekly. If you're needing a daily export, then you need to solution something yourself or find a backup solution on the App Exchange. It's pretty straightforward whenever you want to export all your data out of Salesforce. And one quick note as I click export now is that this would be exporting all of the records for potentially all of the objects in your org not the actual metadata or structure of the actual objects, but the individual records for each object. You can go ahead and specify which individual objects you would like to include in your export, or you can include all data, and that will provide you with a zip file or multiple zip files that contain CSV files, one per object. So for example, in the zip file, you would have a contract.csv and order.csv, et cetera, all the way through for all of these different objects. Each row and each CSV file for each object would be an individual record. The columns would be the different fields for that object. And then the cells in each of those uh, CSV files would be individual data points for the different fields, for the different records, for the different objects. You can also include images, documents, and attachments by selecting the first checkbox, as well as including Salesforce files and Salesforce CRM content. Document versions, there will be notes here to the right that this will give you more detail on what this will include. This will make it take longer for the export and will make the export more large as well. You can also select which file encoding you would like from the drop down here. There's a lot of different options. And then you can also select to replace carriage returns with spaces if you so desire. And then what you can do with this data as I start the export is that you can then have a backup if something goes wrong, if you were to potentially suffer data loss. And so what I did out in the real world when I was working rather than teaching online is I would do a scheduled export. I would do that weekly, sometime over the weekend, whenever there wasn't a lot of work being done in the org I was working in. And then I would take those zip files and store those on a server for a certain amount of time. So if there was any sort of data loss, we'd at least have potentially the data we were missing, even though there's still a gap between backups of a week. So just depending on what your requirements are as far as backup and retention, you'll have to determine that yourself. But here you can select a frequency. And one thing you can't change here is the monthly nature of this data export in the free developer accounts because Salesforce doesn't want to devote a lot of bandwidth to the free accounts. And you can specify start and end times as well as a preferred start time for the export. And your options may vary depending on what other automated processes you've selected previously in your org. All right, so that's data export for giving you the ability to prepare a copy of all your data in Salesforce. So if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below for what you'd like to learn next in Salesforce. And I may make it my next video. And until then, I'll see you in the cloud.